Yahoo, 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 and welcome back to my channel, YouTube. I am Super Genki, and in today's video, I just want to talk to you about reflection. This time that we have right now during the coronavirus, the coronavirus quarantine is the perfect time to reflect upon the life we have lived up to this point. Why? Because we have the time to do it. Usually speaking, we're so busy with our day-to-day -day life, responding to emails, messages, going to work, doing homework, things of that nature, that we don't have time to just sit down and reflect on how our life is going. But now, because of quarantine, we are allotted that time to just sit down and think about the life we've lived. This is important because if you do not consciously think about the life you've lived, you're not going to consciously learn the lessons that you have learned from past experiences. From personal experience, I think that just making a mistake and then continuing on with your life is not a great way to train yourself to actually correct the mistake. This is why mistakes happen more than once. You have to make the same mistake more than once, maybe seven times to eventually learn from it because we forget to stop in place, take a deep breath, and reflect upon the mistake, reflect upon our decisions, reflect upon the life we've lived. One of the best things I get to do, one of the things that makes me the most happiness here on most happiest here on quarantine is the prospect of posting pictures on Instagram. Because I get to look at the pictures of the life I lived and think, wow, that was pretty cool. It's a reflection tactic. But that person's different than the person that's sitting here today. And I have to look at who I am today and make assessments on how to get back to that direction that I want to head in. Because when I was younger, believe it or not, I had a lot more energy and I was a lot more naive about my ideas. So in that time, it was much easier to put in work, put in the hours, put in the energy, put in the effort, be really motivated. It was so much easier, especially now with this whole world pandemic kind of thing. I'm sitting at home every day and sometimes I'm trapped in my own mind, unsure of what to do and I don't reflect. But I think that having some daily reflection every day is a great way to make sure you're, stick, you're sticking on the right path. And that's what we got to do. We cannot lose this time. Quarantine is a world experience right now and if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. I guarantee you. And if you lose this time, the chances of you breaking out of that cell that you've already trapped, your, trapped yourself in your own mind is very low because you had the time to break out, but you didn't use it when you had the time. So then when world, the world goes back to being normal, you're not going to have the time. So how are you going to break out? It requires so much planning to escape who we were and what's stopping us from doing what we want. You have to plan to be a different person. You can't just change it. Because human habits develop over years of time. You need to really think about how am I going to change myself? And before, when we were all really busy, it was hard to put in that time and effort because we had responsibilities. But now, what's the excuse? With less responsibilities than we had before and more free time equals more autonomy, why not make some choices that are more consistent with evaluation of who you are and seeing where you want to be in the future. Rather than just living day to day like it's some sort of accident, why not think about who you want to be in the future, where you want to go in the future, what you want to do in the future, and how you're going to get there. It doesn't have to be all in one day, but I'm saying maybe one hour a day is much more than one hour a year on New Year's. I'm telling you, one hour a day is 365 hours a year. One hour a year, that New Year's resolution is one hour a year. It is ridiculous how cool that opportunity is. And we all have it right now because we're all in this together. Anyway, YouTube, that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, truly trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. If I'm still around, I'm going to be still around. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. 
We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.